Hiya guys and welcome back to Aids Workshop. Now this is a little add-on video purely aimed at Warco WM180 owners that have got the metric lead screw. Now I did a video oh, probably 12 months ago now on setting up the gears on the end of the headstock for various screw cutting operations. One of my viewers, I haven't found this myself, has um, said to me that there's a discrepancy with 0.5 pitch between what's written on the machine and what's in the handbook. Um, I came down the workshop, had a look, and he's quite right. They're two completely different gear train setups based on whether you look at the sticker or the handbook. So I've gone through both setups to see which is correct, and I'll take you through that now. So we'll have a look at what it says in the manual for a point by pitch. Now the manual shows both versions of the lathe, the imperial and the metric. We're concentrating on the metric. So let's just come up. Just trying to get you in a bit of a shot here. What it says for 0.5 pitch. You can see here the 0.5. It shows a 60, 30 on the top, 52 in the middle, and an 80 to gear on the bottom with a direct straight gear tray. Okay. So that's what it says for in the manual for a 0.5 pitch. And it actually is a correct gear train so if we come down now and I'll see if I can bring you in on it there's a discrepancy between the two on the cover it shows 66 33 60 H 80 which yeah I mean 66 33 as opposed to 60 30 60 in the middle well it's only an idle gear this shows a 52 and then H80 on the bottom. So, yeah, both ratios give four to one um, with the 40 tooth head gear. Um, so with the 40 tooth head gear, we got a two to one there. So we're, we've reduced um, the amount that th the 33, the 33 tooth gear will be turning at half the speed of the um, 40 tooth. That's just an idler. And a 40 driving an 80 would be half the speed again, so we'll have four turns of the headstock for one turn of the lead screw. Which works out correct, because the lead screw is a 2 mil pitch. If the head turns four times to get 2 mil, so once would give 0.5. And exactly the same ratio works for this gear train setup, the 60-30, exactly the same. The 52 is an idler, and the 80 again. So, yeah, from, four, from the 40 tooth... The 60-30 reduces it to 2 to 1, and then that driving an 80 would be 4 to 1, again giving 0.5 pitch. So the theoretical ratios of those gears would be correct. Slight problem is the mechanical side of it when you try and set up these gears together. So I'll show you the setup first um, that it shows in the manual. So this setup, so a 60-30 on the top, a 52 in the middle. Now that 52 will have to be set up with a spacer. So we'll have to use the smallest gear to give it a fighting, fighting chance. The smallest gear that's in the toolkit. Which is, so I set up the bottom two gears. 80 tooth with an H which is the spacer. 52 tooth with a 20 tooth which is the intermediate. And I've just set the gapping, you know, just a slight backlash in there. So now I'm going to set the top one up which is a 30 and then a 60. So I've got the 30, 60 here, and I'll just fit that onto its shaft. Now, obviously, I need to drop this spindle down to get the back two gears into mesh. So that would be the, oh, the 30 tooth gear needs to come into mesh with that 52. So I'll just loosen off the spindle, drop it down into mesh, bring it out just slightly. Oh. Well, that's more than slightly, and I'm getting interference with that smallest gear and the six and the uh, sixty on the top. Now, I suppose you could cure this by changing the fifty-two because the fifty-two isn't doing anything other than transferring rotation from this one to this one. But there isn't a gear because I've used the sixty. I could change to a sixty-six there could work that's the only way i could see that that would work would be to put the 66 tooth gear in the middle instead of the 60 30. 
So yeah, that's not going to work. Let's see if that's possible. But, I mean, if I raise this out so that we've got, well, not quite, I'd have to come out a touch more. There. Now I've raised this shaft high enough so the back two gears are engaged, but this, this gear isn't fouling the spacer. But the amount of backlash is, is just absolutely ludicrous. I'm only catching on the tips of the teeth, which would be, you know, I wouldn't run it like that. That's just dreadful. So let's see if it's possible to get the 66 in there, which is the next size up, which is this one here, the 66. If I could put the 66 in there with the smallest gear, have I got enough room? So I've just done a quick mock-up. I changed a 52 with the smallest available to a 66, which is the next one available that's up. It would be the 60, but it's in use up here with the 6030. It does fit together, and that would give me, I'm sure, the correct ratio. I'll just put the nuts on and we'll give it a try out. So I've just put all the nuts on, set it up, and all engaged it, and I got just the right amount of backlash in everything. So let's just check that pitch, but I can't see why it wouldn't be uh, 4 to 1. We shall see. What I've done here is set myself uh, self up a, a line of sight, and I've got my zero line on the chuck, so I can bring that round to line up at the edge of that rule, and I've got a reference point for the start. So I'll just engage my lead nuts. I'll revolve one revolution. Just come round to the zero, the little line. Oh, I missed it. I'll go round again. <laughs> there. Set a zero. And let's see if I travel 0.5 millimetres one revolution. Point five two. Let's do another rev. I might have been out a little. One point oh two. Where are you? One point five. Yeah, it was my. Uh, I was just passed on that first one. One point nine seven. I am getting half mil, mil per revolution. I mean, there's a little bit of inaccuracy in how I'm doing it, but I've done five turns, and, it, and it's coming out 2.5. I could go on, let's say six, seven, eight, nine. I'll try and do 10 turns. And it should be, yep, it is, it's five mil on the button. So, yeah, that does give the correct ratio. So, as it stands, the only practical way for this to work is to change that 52 gear that's shown in the centre there. Let me just bring you in a bit. The 52 that's shown there, to change that to 66. And that would then work. The manual version, what's in the manual, would then work. So that 52 becomes a 66. So I've just set it up the way it shows on the sticker on the machine. The 6633 with a 60 in the middle and an H80. All goes together perfectly and again gives you a perfect 0.5. So yeah, you can either probably suggest copying these figures into your manual so that you've got them for future reference. Or in the manual, is to set it up in the, as it is in the manual, but to change that 52 tooth gear there in the centre for the 0.5 to a 66. And again, it would work perfectly well. Well, here we are, guys. That answers the question. The best setup for 0.5 pitch, purely on the D Walco WM180 lathe, would be the version shown on the sticker on your machine. And this is with the metric lead screw. Um, the handbook, I'd probably suggest that you... Uh, Put a little sticker in it or a note on the page that shows the gear train setup just to remind you that that is the, you know, uh, change it 
where the readings are on on the handbook change those to what's written on the machine and then you know where you are as time goes forward because you know what these things are like you might be two years till you do another 0.5 pitch and you've forgotten all about it by then but what i'm going to do is rewrite it in the handbook correctly well there we are i hope that helps you guys should you come across the same problem i've been adrian thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll see you all soon cheers now